Good morning, dear students. All. Good morning, all of you. Yesterday we were doing question answers of chapter A house is not a home. So we are going to continue with the same one. So get ready. I'm going to share PDF with you. So let's start with this. Screen is visible to you. So we have discussed up to fifth question we have discussed. Now we are going to discuss question number six. Okay. So get ready. What is given in question number six? What is the meaning of my cat was back and so was I? Had the author gone anywhere? Why does he say that he is also back? See, finally one one of the lady came to him and he handed over, he handed over, she, sorry, she handed over that cat to that boy. Okay. So he became so happy. He was immensely happy. He was so, you can say, excited and elated to see his cat back. Okay. Because he was missing his cat badly. He thought that his cat uh, had, you can say, burnt or he was so desperate for him. He was so anxious and worried for that cat. But finally, he got it. So we can say that his cat was bad. But so was I. Here is a word. So was I is given. So was I. So, so was I. What is the meaning of this line? So was I. How can you say that he was also back? He has gone somewhere. Okay, Yug is the first one to give me answer. Yes, Yug. My cat was back and so was I means that he had found his cat and he himself had a new outlook on life. He got his cat back after he had lost all hope of finding it he said that he was also back because he had a feeling of gratitude for his life now earlier he had a feeling of insecurity and fear regarding his new school whereas after the fire the generosity of his friends and the return of uh, his cat changed his outlook on life and he started participating in life and he felt that he was back Good, 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 good. Good, nice. Very well written. Now, Dhiren, you tell me the same answer. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, when the flames of the house, uh, in, when the flames engulfed the house, the narrator's life was just stopped at the point. Uh, his, his life restarted when his uh, when his friend started showing a genuine uh, generosity to him. His friends uh, introduced himself to him. All started becoming normal. But the, uh, that one thing was left was that his cat wasn't uh, was still absent from her life. And when her, uh, when the cat came back, uh, so he was so happy that he uh, he said that he, his cat is back, and so he was. Okay, from his life, not her life. Otherwise, good. So written so well. Now same answer. Uh, Divya would be saying after Divya, I expect this answer from Sahil Dhingra. Sahil, you are not participating in my class. You did not also, you also did not respond yesterday. So if you give response today, only then you will be marked the present Sahil. First of all, Divya, you tell me. After Divya, Sahil, you should be ready with the same answer. Yes, ma'am. Narrator was in the trauma of depression. Into the thinking that his cat might die and the fire of the house might have engulfed it. He had lost all the hope and he was very upset. 
when that lady brought his cat back he came back to the life full of immense happiness he was joy joyous and he used the term that his cat was back and so was him good 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 very well written and she has used good vocabulary words also in her answer so that's really nice okay now this answer i'm going to ask to sahil riva why are you in my class you have third period your answer is ready or not sahil sahil has not written his answer i have given him sufficient time also but still his answer is not prepared see bachche in this we have come to know that the uh, you uh, you can say the author, the that uh, teenager boy he lost everything in that fire okay and uh, he was missing his cat also he was missing his old school also so you can say he was in complete depression he was in trauma okay he was not able to control on his emotions every time he was lost because he was missing his cat badly he was missing his house badly so that's why this was the reason so when he found definitely definitely when he found his cat back so it was really a big surprise for him that he found his cat back okay so afterwards what happened you can say he came from he came out from that trauma of depression he felt now life has something to give because that cat was giving him immense happiness so cat was everything for him you can say it was just like a buddy for him because he has spent so much time with that he used to play with it so when there was no hope left that cat was not able to be found he thought that cat was burnt or cat was missed he was not sure about that but there was no hope so all of a sudden when after one month when there was the construction of his house started and finally one lady came and she brought that cat so it this moment really brought back brought him back brought him back that he really came out from that depression he came out that loss of you that state of loss and he was back okay so this was all about this answer now bachche i'm going to tell you some of the extra questions that you have to do okay so a house is not a home okay um, these questions are done back exercise questions are done now i'm going to do i'm going to give you some of the extra questions so bachche write down extra question describe the hardship faced by and this answer needs lots of elaboration you have to elaborate you have to write down all these answers in detail describe the hardships hardship faced by the author and his family in the story so this question requires a lot of detail you have to write down this answer in detail and you have to describe all the hardships all the problems are uh, that author has to author and his family has to face you have to tell about that he has no father okay he was living with his mother and all of a sudden when house got burned so what kind of problem did he face so you have to tell about all the uh, you can say hardships all the problems all the difficulties obstacles that family had to face okay but first of all you have to tell little bit introduction about hardship 
that hardships make us strong hardships are the part of life anyone can have hardships but one has one should have a courage to face all those hardships okay because we cannot say that our life is always perfect nobody is no one's life is completely perfect everyone has to face different kind of hardships but how can we uh, how can we overcome how can we face all those hardships when we are determined when we have courage we have proper determination we can co overcome it okay and there should be a hope one should be optimistic that one day these hardships will come to over okay now in this chapter a house is not a home a author has to face lots of difficulties lots of hardships okay because you can you can imagine that uh, it's really very pathetic when one person you can say sees his house burning in front of his house so this condition is really much you can say pathetic so this was the main first hardship that a family has to face that whole of the house got burnt in front of their eyes each and everything got burnt in that okay so what was the result all their belongings whether everything each and everything even you can say there was one point when they thought that their pet cat was also burnt in that fire there all the belongings books clothes all all the belongings each and everything okay so it was it got burned and after that they had to take a shelter in grandparents house okay and that condition was that whole of the money whole of the saving it also got burned in that fire and because in order to survive they had to uh, borrow money from others okay their credit cards their identification everything got burned in that okay so not physically it was burned but emotionally they had to go through a you can say emotional phase of their life they had to go through emotional trauma of their life why so because when uh, mother wants that his son study should not suffer so she wanted to say send her child to a school so that child was not having school uniform school shoes no bags no clothes you can say no no books nothing was left okay and even in order to attend school they had to borrow shoes also from others okay at one point the author was feeling just like you can say neglected personality he was in proper depression he was uh, thinking that he was just like a zombie he was just like an outcast person okay so at at one time you can say the person was uh going through emotional trauma so you can say all these difficulties the loss of physically uh, also the you can say emotional it was very difficult to maintain emotional balance also at that time okay so you have to write down this answer in detail ninth d also has joined so both classes are there so now i want that uh, maximum participation should be there and you should impress your teacher and you should impress other students also because now 9th a will be looking the performance of 9th d and 9th d will be looking the performance of 9th a so it is a time to impress moreover this chapter is very interesting very touching one you can frame this long answer i have told you the whole answer but now it is a time to show your creativity what you people think what is your perspective in what words you have written your answer so you get ready with that ninth d any of the child tell me this answer yes ninth a also can speak but ninth d also can speak any of child only simran has raised her hand what about others others are not so intelligent only simran and dhiren from 9th a titiksha okay titiksha you tell me this answer afterwards all of you get ready with the answer keep on writing and i can ask any any of the child ma'am please show the question
Yes. In the story, author has faced many hardships as uh, he didn't have his father, so his mother took care of him. They lived in a house. Uh, the house burned into ashes, and uh, his cat was inside when they went out. The fire brigade saved his mother when she was close to death. They came to their grandparents' house and borrowed some money to buy clothes, etc. They he changed his school from sen uh, junior school to <coughs> senior high school, and he didn't have his his friends. He has many emotional, physical deficiencies that only. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes, keep on speaking. Okay, whatever you have spoken, it was right. Okay, now this answer, same answer I expect from. Okay, Dhiren, Simran, Divya, Jasleen. Only four students are raising their hands. So I expect this answer from now. Parachi Aroda, roll number 34, 9th D. After Parachi, this answer should be given by Havish Bassi, roll number 17, 9th D. Okay, so Parachi, you raise your hand, it will be easy for me to find out you. Yes, Parachi, you tell me what do you think about this, about this answer. Yes, now Bachya, tell me, what do you think? Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Ma'am, the author was already facing many problems in adjusting his in the new environment of a new school. He was already missing a lot of things like his old friends and old teachers. Um, and then one day his house burned. He and his mother were now homeless and they went to live with their grandparents. Uh, the author also didn't have any uh, clothes to wear the next day to the school and uh, no school supplies. And then he was very embarrassed to uh, roam in the school like that. They also, uh, he also lost his cat. So he was just drawn in the feeling of uh, dejection that he has lost everything in his life. And his mother was also um, facing very hardships as uh, she had a lot to do now because they didn't even have their house and his father died when he was uh, very young. Okay. Uh, now, Havish, you tell me this answer. Good. You have spoken well, Parachi. Whatever you have spoken, it's good, but try to write down more lines. Okay. Elaborate in detail. So, Havish, you tell me this answer. Yes, Havish, you tell me this answer. So strange. Havish doesn't want to tell. Okay, Simran, you tell me same answer. Yes, ma'am. Now, ninth D, look at the quality similar. How uh, does she give answer? Look at her quality answer. Listen carefully. The author faced so many hardships after the loss of all his belongings in the fire that ravaged his house. The narrator started feeling depressed and embarrassed. His mom asked him to change his school and he respected her value, her decision, as he knew that Everything her mother was doing was for his own good. People in one's surroundings are sometimes indifferent and less cooperative. They keep busy in their own business, but they are truly known in one's hardship when they come forward to support wholeheartedly to the suffer. And that was his grandparents who gave them shelter to live. Then he changed his school 
but life without love is not a life human relationship is based on love the title itself indicates it clearly that a house is not a home without love the author had to face adverse circumstances he was a fatherless boy he led a satisfactory life with his old friends and teachers but when he changed school he could not adjust himself in the new environment later on his how to all later on he, he felt very dejected and isolated life had no interest in him anymore he started building a new house but it was not a home a house only when there is love and happiness then we are happy he lost his cat and was very depressed he missed his cat terribly and wanted everything back good very well written perfect answer now have you all listened the quality this is the way to give answer don't tell the story i don't want to listen the story you should write down all the things in a smart way you have to write down your view point see he she has given her view point that how house is not a home okay how that uh, you can say the people who are close to us now when we require them how we feel their need and when they help us how we can come from depression to you can say normal situation how love is important in our life how help is important how friends are important so she has given importance of everything and after that she has related to the chapter so this is the correct way to give answer so this answer uh, i expect now from prane after prane harmeet kaur from 9th d should be ready same answer yes Yes, Prane. Unmute. Life is full of miseries and difficulties. No one has a perfect life. There are so much hardships in everyone's life, and one should courage and have determination to face their difficulties. This is a story of a small boy who was not having his father. One day, he was doing his homework when suddenly fire engulfed his house. His mother and he quickly ran out. after his house was fired up they both used to live in their grandmother's house the author was in so much depression and his condition was so much pathetic his uniform shoes and books were burned he was feeling so insecure in school and he was feeling like a zombie his schoolmates tried his their level best to help him he got everything back but the impo most important thing that he lost was his cat Uh, but after few months he got everything back this really brought him back from depression okay so add up this slide so these were all the hardship these were all the obstacles and troubles that he had to face throughout his life okay now next student i told one of the child to be ready that is harmeet kaur yes harmeet you tell me same answer harmeet kaur they are least bothered yes harmeet beta tell me this answer it means she is not there okay Jasprit Singh from ninth D. Are you able to give this answer? Yes, Jasprit. No response. Now I'm going to move to next question. All of you write down next question. next extra question that you have to write down justify the title of the story justify the title of the story a house is not a home a house is not a Oh. 
so you have to justify this title a house is not a home you have to tell me about this before doing the expression you have to keep this thing in your mind that what is basically a house in your opinion in your perspective and what is a home see house can be made with bricks and walls but home is made when family lives in when there is a love when there is you can say care cooperation only then this house can be considered a term it can be given a new term that is a home okay so renuka has raised her hand so renuka you tell me this answer afterwards other student you should also be ready with this answer yes renuka the word house means a structure made up of concrete material while the word home means a house with uh, with happiness love concern by with the people inhabiting a space a house is not a home it is an appropriate appropriate title because zain did not lose his home when he was lost his house he zain took to heart in the burning down his house and the things like backpack his shoes and other belongings when he received love support and concern from everyone around him realized that emotion which was present in his house had grown even stronger after the fire in this house he had lost the house but the home was still there stronger than before hence uh, the the title it conveys the main idea of the material lost covered but can't cause the loss of their emotions okay see when you are going to write down such kind of answer you want to justify title so here you can use that word this title what do you think it is right or not so this is apt suitable or appropriate appropriate apt suitable and appropriate so you have to think about this you have to add up these kind of vocabulary in your answer yes it fits best okay this our title is very much appropriate very much apt very much suitable so you can write down this thing okay this title is very much apt so you have to justify why it is apt okay you have to tell this answer in context of this chapter okay so first of all in a nutshell in a brief you can tell the main main incident of narrator's life that his house house got completely destroyed okay that's why they had to take refuge they had to take shelter in grandparents home okay after that they were living in a apartment which was on rent okay but the places where they were living where, when they were living in grandparents house for some time when they were living in a rented apartment so do you think that those places could be called home not at all because a home is a place when we get comfort we get love we get care we get warmth we get that coziness okay that we get that uh, below, you can say uh, Uh, you can say longingness that we have we show concern to each other okay so all these things all such kind of happiness can be found only and only in home not in a house okay and if you take the example of house house is a building which is made of bricks and walls no no doubt but it has no emotions it has no love no care no feelings okay and that's why you just relate this chapter and say that how a house is not a home this title is very much appropriate apt and suitable in context of this chapter in context with the condition of the narrator okay because when he was without uh, that uh, home how was his life how his life took a turning point how his life completely changed okay and uh, you can say he was not feeling 
the sense of belongingness that this thing really belonged to him when he saw his own house burning in front of him so he was really missing it because it was not only a brick it was not a building made of brick there were so many sentiments there were so many you can say emotions feelings everything was present in that four walls so that that thing has made him made this place as a home so it is not difficult it is not easy to make home it requires a lot of you can say years it requires a lot of efforts to transform a house into a home so in this way whenever you will be telling about a narrator's life you have to relate all the things that how house is not a home and you have to relate every paragraph by you can say keeping this thing in mind that how did he lost it and how did he suffer it and at last how did he want to uh, make his home again not a house because house anybody anyone can make but home it requires lot of efforts to make it as a home so all of you those who are not participating in class i expect that you just write the only single single line in chat box up for this answer what is view point what is your view point so that i will come to know attentive students of my class you type in chat box one one line related to this question nitya has written so well the author did not lose his home but he lost his house no you have written reverse titiksha has written that this yes uh tiksha has written made of walls and bricks but a home is made up of love relationship and feelings okay prane has written a house house is a place where we are comfortable home home is a place so keep on writing so that i will come to know the active participants of my class prane nitya titiksha jasleen and simran both are raising their hands okay it means five are attentive one what about others okay lisa has written well Dhiren has written well. Good. Riv, Bianchi, Titiksha. Okay, all are writing so well. In this way, I have come to know that how many of you are attentive in my English class. You have to write that only one line. Your viewpoint. What do you think about this answer? Divya has written so well. good her home is where love and affection is there with family okay now the time is over okay bachche take care of yourself and do these question these two questions in your fair notebooks okay now i'm going to over your class